Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get started with digital planning in 2024. So if you've just got an iPad and you want to get started, keep watching. Okay, so let's start with what exactly a digital planner is. A digital planner is essentially a PDF document that has been designed to mimic the experience of a paper planner but digitally. Switching to a digital planner has so many benefits. So first of all, you can have endless pages. You can just duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. If you have any mistakes, you can easily erase them without having to scribble out and ruin the page. It's also a lot more easy to transport, especially if you've got an iPad mini, you can just pop it in your bag and it's super light and super convenient to have on the go. So to get started digital planning, you'll need a few things. Number one, a device such as an iPad or Android tablet and a compatible stylus. I personally use the Apple Pencil second generation and an iPad. Number two, a digital note taking app such as GoodNote 6, Notability or Noteshelf. I personally use and recommend the GoodNote 6 app. And number three, a digital planner. So when it comes to finding a digital planner, Etsy is the place to go. There are so many different options available. If you prefer colorful or more minimalist, you'll be able to find a planner to suit your needs and style on Etsy. So the digital planner that I will be using for 2024 is the Sweet Life Planner, and that is available on my Etsy shop, and I will link that in the description below. So for this video, I will be focusing on iPads and the GoodNote 6 app, but remember there are various different options available and I recommend you take some time to research what is available and what is the best fit for you. It's all about finding what suits your style and your needs. Most digital planners come with guidance on how to download and use your planner. This process can vary slightly depending on what is included with your purchase. I actually have a full video on this process for downloading, opening digital planners and stickers from my shop and then saving them to your iPad and opening them in the GoodNotes app. So I will link this in the description below if you wanted to check it out. Once you've downloaded your planner, we want to open this up in the GoodNotes app. Locate where you have saved your planner and tap on the file. Next, tap on the upwards pointing arrow and select to open in GoodNotes. You may see a few different options here depending on what apps you have on your iPad or device. But today we're going to go with GoodNotes, so let's tap that. Make sure you import as a new document and then your planner will open and then you're ready to get planning. So let's go through a few of the features on the GoodNotes app. So the most important feature to be aware of when you use GoodNotes 6 is that there are two modes, viewing mode and editing mode. Viewing mode looks like this. The top bar appears white and it is in this mode that you are able to use the interactive hyperlinks, which means you can jump throughout the planner when we switch to editing mode, the bar at the top appears blue and we have all of these little tools along the top. Hyperlinks are not able to be used in this mode, however it is in editing mode that we are able to write on the planner. So let's go through the different options that we have available on this toolbar. The first one up is the pen tool. So let's head down to the bottom, here you'll see all of the different settings. I advise you to tick these on and off and have a little play around and see which suits you best. GoodNote 6 also has AI feature where it can check your spelling and here is where you are able to switch that on or off. Now let's take a closer look at the actual pen type. So this one is the fountain pen. I'm going to just show you the difference between these and then the ball pen. And then we have the brush pen. With all of the different pen types, you can choose the stroke setting, whether you want it thin, thick, solid, dashed, dotted. And then you'll see at the bottom where it says pen thickness, you can choose what thickness you want it to be. You'll see that you have three different options available at the top, which you can toggle between. Next to this, we then have the pen color. So we've got your presets, got the custom colors, which you can choose. And then we also have a color dropper, which you can choose to place over anything on the page to get that color and add to your presets. To add a color to your presets, you wanna just tap here and then it will add itself to the presets on that first page option. Next, we have the eraser tool. And here we have three different options, the precision eraser, the standard eraser, and the stroke eraser. Below, we have the option to only erase highlighter and to also clear the page. Now let's take a closer look at the different eraser types. So this one is the precision eraser. This one's great when you want to be really precise with the eraser. And up in the right hand corner, you can also adjust the size of this. Next we have the standard eraser. This one is the GoodNotes default eraser. And then we have the stroke eraser. This one will erase the entire stroke. Next we have the highlighter tool. Just like the pen tool, you have the option to change the size of the highlighter and to change the color in the same way you would with the pen tool. 
If you want to create any shapes in your planner, head to the shapes tool. Here you'll see if you roughly create the shape and hold down, it will snap to that shape. Next up we have the lasso tool. So this tool is probably my most favourite as there's just so much that you are able to do with it. So you are able to move images around, you're able to move text around. Once you have your text or your image selected, you can also tap and you'll see more options come up, which we will go over shortly. If you tap on the lasso tool, you'll also have these options come up. So you can select what you want to be picked up by the lasso tool. So if you decide that you only want to pick up images, you don't want to pick up any of the writing, no matter what you circle, then just tap that. This is a really handy feature if you have quite a lot of stuff close together. Next up we have the elements tool. So here is where you are able to save your favourite elements and stickers. It's a little bit like a sticker book in my opinion, so you can basically store everything in here that you use often. I like to put emojis in here as that's something I like to often add into my planning. If you want to add in any image or text, you want to use that lasso tool, circle it and tap add element. You can then choose where you want to save this and you can create new albums as well. So I'm personally going to save this to my decorative album, which is the one at the bottom. There we go. And then when I click in elements, I will be able to find that under decorative. The next one along is the image tool. So this basically is your image gallery. So anything that you've got on your camera roll will show up here. If you tap that icon again, you'll have slightly bigger pictures appear here, which you can select from as well. So let me just show you an example if we choose this image I got from Pinterest. So you're able to resize that and if you tap, you'll see these options come up. If we tap on crop and you can choose to crop that as a rectangle or if you tap freehand, you can choose exactly what bit you want to crop. Once you're happy with that, just tap done and then you can place it wherever you want it to go within your planner. So next up we have the text tool. So here you have your fonts. Some of these are imported and some of them are the default ones that come with GoodNotes. Next along we have the sizing. So you can choose what size you want your text. Then you can choose your alignment. Next to that you can change the color. And then next to that you can choose if you want to have a text box or a background on that text. If you tap here, you can then save that text as your default. The next tool that we have is the magnifying tool. You'll see a little blue box appear on the page that you can move around with this and then you can zoom in onto exactly which bit you want to view. You'll see at the bottom part of this page that you can also zoom in on here and that you can write and it allows you to be able to write zoomed in but also be able to view the whole page at the same time. And last of all we have the ruler tool. So this is really good for drawing straight lines and you can place it at any angle. You can move it with your fingers like I am here and it just it's really handy for drawing straight lines under text and you can also set the angle just by tapping and then writing in the angle just here. Okay friends, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and also don't forget to drop in the comments if you're going to be digital planning in 2024.